Okay, everyone, it is me, Future Filmmaker 394 here again with another channel update. So, the last channel update I did was two weeks ago, and so I figure I decided to go ahead and tell you guys what's going on and what is going to be happening. Even though by the time you see this, this will probably be Wednesday. When I upload my heart, my horror reviews. So let's get into all all the stuff I have have been doing since I haven't been on online. So basically, the little situation about me that is taken care of because. I don't have to go leave, leave where the space that I am in now. So, yep. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about what's going to be coming up next to the Future Filmmaker 3940 channel and what's, what you're going to be seeing for these next couple of days. Now, as I'm recording this, it is October the 8th and it is exactly. One it is exactly one thirty-two in the morning. Usually I should be asleep by now, but I need to do this first. Now I have recorded some of my horror reviews that I have done. Now I started back in September, and I. I did the Thirteen Ghosts, The Crooked Man, Constantine, The Shining, and um, Teristas, and The Wicker Man, and The Nine, and The Predator. And I took a little break until we got to October to finish off the rest. So, for the reviews I have recorded so far, I have reviews of The Martian recorded. Even though it's not sci-fi, isn't I mean it's not a horror film. I decided to put it on to put all the the not put it back on there anyway. Also, so that review is is saved and ready to go. I have reviews for both Hellboy and Hellboy Two: The Golden Army recorded. And edit it, and they're just waiting to be uploaded. I have reviews for all seven Leprechaun movies ready to go. I have reviews for all the Amityville films ready to go. I have my reviews for Pan's Labyrinth and Mama ready to go, as well as the Riddick trilogy and Gothica. And also reviews for The Last Witch Hunter. And, of course, I have Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. And my review of Crimson Peak and World War Z. So, I've been mainly focusing on getting those horror reviews recorded, edited, and prepared to upload for you guys. And, and so far, I have done that. But also, I did take the time and... Decided to do some 2018 stuff, do some 2018 catch up. Since I the reviews for the 2018 films I haven't done yet, I decided to go ahead and do it. So one video it is 56 minutes long. I do have it saved. Is basically what I picked six different movies from this year, and I decided to do them as one video I even though I do there are other movies that I have reviewed that I haven't I've seen but I haven't reviewed but I will do those and those six movies I decided to do in that video were Mile 22, Searching, Black Klansman, I Think We're Alone Now, the Netflix film to all the boys I loved before and AXL and that's not the only 2018 related thing I did. I also reviewed the movie A Simple Favor starring Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively directed by Paul Feig. Who is the director of movies such as Bridesmaids, Spy, 
and not very good Ghostbusters. So I do have that plan. And Paul Feig, he actually saw my tweet, my Star Wars reaction to the film. So I decided to to so I recorded went ahead and recorded that. I also got my review for Eighth Grade, the new A twenty four film on on my laptop ready to be uploaded. Already edited. Also my review of the Nicolas Cage movie Mandy Midnight Sun review is uploaded with Bella Thorne. My review of the movie Proud Mary, which came out earlier this year, and my review of Sharknado 6, The Last Sharknado is About Time. My review of Revenge. And that's basically what I've been doing lately, just recording videos to get them ready to upload. But as far as other videos, 2018 related, I still have some movies I still have to record reviews for it like Fahrenheit 451 the movie Traffic with Paula Patton and Laz Alonzo The Darkest Minds the young adult adaptation film the movie Sun Dogs directed by Jennifer Morrison starring Michael Arangano and Melissa Benoist my review of Bob, the Bobby Brown story, which came on BET, which I finally saw, and it was good. It was good. That's all I'm gonna say. My review of Life of the Party. My review of another Netflix movie called When We First Met with Adam Devine, Alexandra Daddario, and I also got my re review recorded for Josie. That's ready to be uploaded. And also, the remaining reviews are for TV show, like so Sorry for Your Loss, which was on Facebook Watch, which I did watch, see. And um, the HBO miniseries Sharp Objects. And, of course, I'm still planning on reviewing Life Itself, because I do want to check that out. I'm just waiting for it to be available for me to watch also I will as far as future releases I'm still going to review Halloween 2018 when it comes out on the 19th also I will be reviewing A Star Is Born with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga a lot of people is bashing it but but it's gotten good reviews so it's not Oscar pretentious so you people just I don't know Yes, unfortunately. Now, Techno Drone 406, he said don't see it yet, but he saw it and he did say he did say say he enjoyed it, but I may not like it due to the level of optimism and skepticism I've had towards it. And he is right because I have have no interest in watching Venom but I'm going to watch it I'm going to give it a chance because the Rotten Tomato score has been revealed before the film came out and it's sitting at the same rating as Batman vs Superman at 28% but for some stupid reason it has an 89% audience score Oh yeah, I'm going to see what audience is like in it because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be good. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be, be entertaining for me. Especially the fact that I have been hell-bent on, on hating on this film. And I've not been excited for it whatsoever. So, yeah. And don't worry, I'm still going to be taking part of my... My competitive match with YouTuber Zach Pope on Ryan O'Toole's channel in the game season three of Rotten or Fresh coming soon. So I will be coming there. And also I still have some of these horror reviews I still have to get done. Tales from the Dark Side, Funhouse Massacre, Skyline, Eight Legged Freaks, Pulse from Dust to Dawn, 
Ghost Ship, House of Wax, The Devil's Advocate, What Lies Beneath, Corpse Bride, Exorcist 3, all the way up to Dominion, because I did review the second one earlier this year. My reviews of Seven and Panic Room, Planet Terror, Boogeyman, James Cameron's The Abyss, Dead Silence, Queen of the Damned, District 9, the remake of Last House on the Left, the original and the remake of The Hitcher. The Cornetto Trilogy, even though one is a sci-fi fantasy film and the other is a zombie movie and one of them is a police comedy, I'm still going to count it. Oculus, which stars Brenton Tuitus and Karen Gillan. End of Days, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Stargate, What We Do in the Shadows. The Tim Burton movie adaptation of Dark Shadows. J Jimmy Bones, of course. And District 9. And of course, Traffic. So, those are the remaining Halloween month reviews. Now, as far as other videos go, I'm still going to give you, going to do my Disney Renaissance ranking that Lucas Green suggested. I'm still go I'm going to take some suggestions that you ask for this month as far as ranking videos like Friday the 13th. And I will be ranking the Jeepers Creepers films and all the Saw movies and ranking the five Conjuring movies. I just got a lot on my plate. And I'm sorry if I haven't been active the last couple of days. It's just been a crazy, hectic situation. But... I'm going I'm going to make it up. I'm going to make it up to y'all. And I want to appreciate all the 916 subscribers who is sticking with me. Don't worry. I'm not dead. I we just had this little some problem, a little bit of problems. And as far as non-horror horror related stuff, hey, we'll see we'll see what we got. So, that was my very in very intense channel update so let letting you know what's up so let me know what you guys think about this channel update down below and this future film actor i for reserve and you guys keep it cool as always peace out <music>
if I am late to a couple of reviews, I will I will upload load them as soon as soon as when I can, soon as I can because I the last thing I did back in September back in September was a channel update and and during the channel update I've just been watching and reviewing mo movies. And doing a couple lists and rankings. So, yeah, I've been pretty busy. Keeping myself pretty busy while I'm not able to use the internet. But, let me just say that I have finished the entire year three of my annual horror reviews and none of them the remaining ones I finished but I started back in September I did The Wicker Man then The Crooked Man The Shining Constantine 13 Ghosts um Teresa's The Predator The Nun and I I guess those were, were the ones that I uploaded. And those were the last couple of... And also the original Suspiria. But now I have finished them all. In, all of them, including Gothica, Ghost Ship, House of Wax, Devil's Advocate. I basically filled out this entire thing here. And fin finish that. So I went and finished all that off, and it took me it took me multiple days to do record all of them, and once so so I could could have some stuff to upload to you guys. So this entire thing is done. Now I did make changes, and I took the Dragon Tattoo trilogy, the Swedish trilogy, off. And replaced it with Christine and I reviewed this one back on my very first channel my first account jo Joshua Drake 455 account but that one that account is no longer available so I decided to redo my review of Disaster LA because my thoughts has now changed and so all of those are done so those are done in the can. They're just ready to be uploaded. Also, I did review the Cornell Trilogy, including Hot Fuzz and, of course, The World's End. And, like I said, um, Shaun of the Dead. But I'm going, but my re reviews for Shaun of the Dead... And House of Wax, 2005. I had the file, but I played it. Didn't really turn out right. So I'm going to re-record those. And put them in the Horror Month Reviews folder that I have saved on my laptop. So basically, the little picture that you're seeing, that's basically almost all of my horror reviews for this year and this was a pretty big year for my annual horror movie reviews that I do so I wanted to I want I wanted to go bigger with this year so I that's why I added so many things and some of the stuff was from last year's a horror review in 2017 that some of the that I didn't get to do but that's all done and as far as 2018 reviews go like I said I still have some of these already done so some of the ones that are already done like I said I did a six six um, part a six movie video and that is a very big video where I reviewed Mile 22, Black Klansmen, Searching, I Think We're Alone Now, AXL, and of course, 
to all the boys I loved before. And I do have that shot edited and ready to be uploaded. I also reviewed other stuff from that came out this year that I've seen so far, such as Proud Mary, I decided to give it a shot. A simple favor. And I reshot I had to reshoot my review of Mandy because I didn't because I had it and then I didn't then I did not like how it turned out. So I went ahead and reshot it. I just haven't uploaded it yet. I also reshot my reviews for the Bobby Brown story and I shot and edited and put together my reviews for Sharp Objects, Life of the Party, Sorry for Your Loss, um, Under the Sea, A Descendant Story, and of course, I went, I, it took me four different time, time five different times to re record this review, and it is for the movie Traffic, which my cousin's girlfriend she asked i watch and give my thoughts on it so it is fin recorded i just haven't uploaded it yet also as far as 2018 reviews i movies i will see i still have i have a list and it went through two two different pages of this thing so we have, of course, I'm going to do this backwards. We have, of course, next month, The Girl in the Spider's Web, the, uh, Tyler Perry's new film, Fantastic Beasts, The Chronicles of Grindelwald, Wreck-It Ralph, Breaks the Internet, so the remake of Suspiria with Dakota Johnson, um, The Nutcracker in the Four Realms, and um, Creed 2, and the Grinch movie, and also, like I said, Record Ralph 2, Burst the Internet. So those come out next month. As far as movies that I, that's came out so far this year that I haven't seen yet, The Kissing Booth, my sister, my oldest sister, my, she, Leanne, she wanted me to watch and review that, so I am planning to watch and review that soon. Also, stuff there are I missed a couple of movies in September and this month. So for September, I still have Life Itself, Marvel Rising Secret Warriors, which is Marvel Disney XD film that came on Disney XD that I didn't get to see. Um, White Boy Rick, which is the movie based on a true story with Matthew McConaughey. I've heard some mixed things, but I'm going to check it out. And then for this month, I decide and I missed out with on First Man, which is the movie about Neil Armstrong starring Ryan Gosling. Um, Halloween 2018, the new one with this for that ignores all of the sequels be to the original Halloween and it is and it puts, acts as the legit sequel. Then you have the remake of A Star is Born, which has been remade multiple times, but this is the one with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga that I still want I want to check out. I've heard some good things about it before my little situation. Um, the Hate You Give, which is a movie that I'm quite curious about. It has a good cast, and you also got Sabrina Carpenter in the film. You also have this Battle Times at the El Royale, starring Dakota Johnson, Chris Hemsworth, a bunch of the cast members in that one. Goosebumps 2, Haunted Halloween. A Vigilante, which is the new film with Olivia Wilde. Um, you have, of course, my mom. She saw this in the theater, and I told her what she think of it, and she says funny. So I am hoping it is, and that is Night School. 
Then, as far as future films this year, you also got, like I said, Bumblebee in December, Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse in December. Um, the, the crossover, the new crossover between Arrow, Supergirl, and The Flash. There's no Legends of Tomorrow this time. Marvel's Daredevil Season 3, the new Tyler Perry film with Tiffany Haddish. The upcoming film in the world of DC franchise, Aquaman. And um, also, you have Mary Poppins Returns, the sequel to Mary Poppins. The Party's Just Beginning, which is the film directorial debut of Guardians of the Galaxy actress and Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle actress. And one of my favorite celebrity, one of my celebrity crushes, or one of my MCU crushes, Karen Gillan. So, I'm hoping that's good. Let's see what, see how she does with her first directorial effort. Then you have, of course, Mortal Engines, which I am very, I'm very curious about because Peter is coming to us from the cre. From the director of the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogy, and the creators of those two awesome trilogies, and it's based on a book that I never read. And it, and it, I've seen the tr first trailer. I haven't seen the second trailer, but from the first trailer and from the posters I've seen, I'm actually quite curious about it. Unfortunately, yes, I'm still going to have to see Venom, and I don't want to. But if I'm going to do do the worst movies of 2018, this is one way or another. This is going on that list. Now people people say it might surprise me, but I doubt it because of the level of unenthusiasm that I've been showing towards this movie all year. And like, and then you have the Bumblebee movie. With Haley Steinfeld and John Cena, I'm curious about it. Some people say it's just a continuation, but to me, it feels more like a full-on reboot to the Transformers series. And this might be be a surprise for people who hated all the other Transformers movies. So we'll see how it goes. Again, Nutcracker in the Four Realms with Mackenzie Foy. I'm curious to see that. Then Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, which has multiple Spider-Mans. You have Peter Parker, Miles Morales, and of course Gwen Stacy, also voiced by Haley Steinfeld. So I can't wait to see that in December. So, and as far as other 2018 movies, we'll see how that goes. Now this is going to be a long update because I do have some other stuff that I have yet to see. Also, I did record some other reviews that are non-Halloween month related after I finish off my little horror reviews list. That list. I reshot and recorded, re-recorded my Wachowski's films ranking. From worst one to the best. I reshot. And I also reshot again my reviews for the Bobby Brown story and Mandy. And I also recorded reviews for both Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Also, I also recorded some reviews. Re review for Dream Girls, which I've been wanting to talk about all this all year, but I finally decided to get around to it. I'm think I think you're going to be very happy with how that review of Dream Girls is going to turn out. And also, other reviews I got planned. I'm going to finish off the mini Martin Scorsese review series and my rest of my David Fincher reviews and the rest of Michael Bay reviews and the remaining James Cameron movie I have yet to talk about which true lies I also have plans to review the Chronicles of Narnia movies 
um, the movie with Demi Moore that I saw a couple months ago, and a lot of people say is one of the worst movies of all time, but you'll see my thoughts on that. Um, also, I do have to re-record re and reshoot my reviews for Shaun the Dead and House of Wax, and I've shot my reviews for all three Men in Black movies and, re and shot all of my reviews for all three Back to the Future films. And also finishing off the Spielberg reviews. And I also reviewed Moana and recorded my reviews for the last two Rocky films. Rocky Balboa and Creed. And I finished off Edgar Wright's films with Scott Pilgrim vs. The World after the Cornell Trilogy. And my review of The Sand Lights, which is a classic film from the 90s, 1993. Basically, I've been recording my butt off. Recording, editing my butt off. So, yeah, I've been doing it a lot. And I also have some other reviews playing be be I do still plan to review Jupiter Ascending and my review in retrospective for one of the most polarizing movies, Cloud Atlas. I just have a lot planned. And as far as music reviews, I will be starting my music reviews that I said I would. I'm going to review review the album Lucy Hale's debut album from 2014 which is the road between i will be going into my top five favorite songs from the weekend's album starboy and yeah i'm trying something other than movies and tv shows i'll still do movies and tv shows but i'm also focusing on on music on this channel so I because I want to infuse some music into this and I do have my ranking of the conjuring films and yes I will do a ranking of the leprechaun movies from worst to best and reshoot my and re record my ranking of the platinum dunes movies from worst to best so basically you're looking at a lot of uploads and all the 2018 reviews some of these I might do separately once I see them and some of them I might do what I did with my my mile 22 black Klansman searching think where I might do a uh, nurse six take six different movies from this year and do them in one video who knows so we'll see how that goes so yeah, we basically have a lot on our plate, and I want to thank all of you guys for your support through all of my different social media links, through Stardust, through Facebook, through Twitter, through Instagram, and here on YouTube. So, and also, I'm, I did record my ranking of Edgar Wright's movies and my ranking of the Disney Renaissance movies that I got asked to do from worst to best by Lucas Green. And I still have another, some more other, in, I'm, I'm working on my end of the year list as of now. There's still a couple movies I have to see first before I shoot all those. And you're going to have multiple ones. So, I apologize if this update is a little is lengthy, but I just need to fully say what I need to say and get this off my chest because I know you guys have been waiting for new content. And as far as the Raw and the Fresh episode with me and Zach Pope on Ryan O'Toole's channel, that is still happening. I. So, I'm pretty sure Ryan O'Toole, who's one of my most loyal YouTube subscribers and who asked me to be take part in Ryan Fresh, he, I'm pretty sure he d delayed the episode until, I'm, until I show back up. So, all of that and all the stuff that I said I'm going to be doing that I've done. Also... With my other 2018 reviews, I also 
did record my review for another Netflix film, which is called When We First Met, starring Adam Devine, Robbie Mill, and the beautiful Alexandra Daddario, who is beautiful in the movie. And a lot of people didn't really like it, but you just have to wait till you my review drops to see my thoughts. And for other videos planned, I'm still going to review the Swedish Dragon Tattoo Trilogy because I want to get that out of the way before Girl in the Spider's Web hits theaters next month. And also still going to review Speed Racer. One one of the more underrated movies ever. And also, I still plan on reviewing the Austin Powers movies. Because I'm not waiting another year. I'm going to go ahead and record, shoot those reviews for the Austin Powers movies and then put them together so that would already be uploaded. And also, how can you not have a channel where you talk about movies, TV shows, and music if you're not going to talk about Sin City and Sin City of Dame to Kill for? I like both of the, the, those movies and you will be seeing my thoughts on both of them. Also... I also been having this one in my head for a while, since the beginning of the year, but Amer Ridley Scott's film American Gangster and 300 Rise of an Empire. And as far as movies that came out in the 2010s, 2000s, or any other year, whether it was an older year or a newer year, We'll see where where it goes, but yeah, I like I like I said, I have a lot on my plate, and plus, I have been away for way too long, way too long. <laughs> but it was my decision to take a little bit of a break until until things got cool but we're, we're coming back and I'm coming back at y'all hard and with with awesomeness so get ready for the awesomeness and get ready for the geekness and as far as TV shows like Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, The Gifted and third and um And, um, yeah, Supergirl, Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, The Gifted, and Marvel's Daredevil. Those reviews will come once I watch every single season of each, new season of each show. Because I do have to catch up on Arrow, I do have to catch up on Supergirl, and The Gifted, and The Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow. And... Will I watch the CW Batgirl, Batwoman show? Maybe. And also catch up on Riverdale. So, it's going to be a lot of catching up and stuff I have to do. But, I'm believe me, this is my channel and we're going to get it done. And also, I do have rankings for David Fincher planned and my top 10 favorite Elizabeth Olsen films planned. Because I was supposed to do the Elizabeth Olsen video top 10 list on my birthday but I decided to just lay back and chill so thanks for watching this lengthy update let me know what you think of this update down below are you excited to see some of these what are you curious to see out of all the stuff I have announced and I have planned? Let me know down below and I will see you guys in more videos. Let's continue the road to 1,000 subscribers and you guys keep it cool as always. Y'all take care.
Be sure to follow me on my social media links and and be sure to use my channel hashtag future filmmaker three nine four eight zero. Whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Stardust. So yeah, let's continue that road to one k subscribers and also use the hashtag the road to one k subscribers as well. And let's keep it cool. Peace out, y'all.